We are here with the Davis Vantage View. Tell us all about this product and I'll unbox it for you. Uh, the Davis Vantage View. The View has been around as a product for probably um, 10 years plus now. Mm -hmm. Over that time has been um, developed, tweaked, modified, sensors updated. It can easily be assembled by um, just um, just kind of your, your, your home user. That's, mm -hmm. what they're, that's what they're designed for. So it's an all-in-one product. This is the main um, sensor suite. So. Mm -hmm. Davis call this the ISS. That's the weather station. You've got the tipping spoon assembly, which we need to fit. The then, we've, then we've got a power supply for the console, which we'll have a look at in a little bit more detail in a minute. So the new console, um, which is a tablet um, style design, came in around two years ago now. Mm -hmm. um, so this will display your weather data um, on the console, which we'll say look at in a minute. Mm -hmm. And then it can also link into your uh, Wi-Fi network and take the data up to weatherlink.com which is the, the Davis um, web portal. So you can see all your data being displayed there um, pretty much live. It also allows you to use the, uh, the Davis WeatherLink app, mm -hmm. which you can download onto your smartphone, phone. That's um, iOS or Android. Mm -hmm. um, and then if you're actually on the same network as your weather station, uh, that will update at the same frequency as the console. So there are the wind cups and there is the wind vane. So pop that on the top. You don't need to undo it that far. Okay, just, like just slot it in and you should feel it like click over. fall into place. Should either this part or that part get damaged, for example, you know, if there was a storm or something like that, these are easily replaceable. You tighten up the grub screw, which is just on here. You should feel resistance. And then, obviously, when you try and pull it, it doesn't come off. So that's just a little tip just to watch that one. Tipping spoon for the rain is a, is a little tipping spoon with a magnet. So that automatically empties itself. And every tip that it records is 0.2 millimeters. See where it slots? There you go. Nice and, easy. and then you can screw that end up. That is the debris filter. It just slots into the um, into the cone in there. And people often ask us how are these how are these powered? On the front here, we've obviously got a solar panel. Mm. So uh, when you're mounting these, um, your solar panel needs to face south. Mm -hmm. um, so use your compass to do that. That then works out the alignment of the um, the anemometer as well. Yeah. So important to get this facing south. And what that actually does is it charges an internal supercapacitor. Mm. Um, so the supercapacitor then basically charges the, uh, powers the, um, the uh, connectivity for its electrical uh, signal. Mm -hmm. So that talks back and it uses its own, um, it's not Wi-Fi, but it uses its own Davis talk. Mm -hmm. uh, so that talks back to the, uh, the console or the Weatherlink Live that you have inside. Mm -hmm. um, and what, what, are you, what you're basically doing is you're charging the supercap, but then what it has also is a CR123 battery like this, but using these that have been running for five, six, seven years to wow. the same battery. But it really does depend where you are in the country, how much sunlight and whatever you're getting. Mm. So if we turn that over, mm -hmm. we've just got a little um, battery compartment there. And then what we'll do... And one thing just to remember, and we do have issues occasionally, but with this one it's a lot easier, is to make sure we get the polarity right. Mm -hmm. So obviously your plus and minus, which it says inside. So then we're just going to pop that in and then make sure the cover fits back over the top. If any of you have watched any of our earlier videos, you might recall me saying that there's actually eight channels to use, eight wireless channels. Mm -hmm. So by default, any new station will be set to channel one. Then any of the consoles or any of the other devices, very important to remember that if you change the channel on one of the stations, change you it. need to match the channel. One of the most common issues that we that we get. Mm -hmm. There's a very quick overview of what you actually get with the Vantage View. Mm -hmm. We've got uh, wind speed with our wind cups on the top here. Mm -hmm. We've then got our wind direction with the, the vane at the bottom. Mm -hmm. We've then underneath, we've got our, our tipping spoon, which is in here. And that automatically empties with 0.2 millimetres per tip. And you can see that the rain goes in through the... Um, the cone area on the top here and then the other thing that we need to mention is in the little shield at the bottom here mm. on here and on this side there as you can see it's on a shield shield we've got a temperature humidity sensor in there mm. and if you have the 6313 console that comes with the uh, the Vantage View standard you also get the barometric pressure and an internal temperature and humidity uh, reading from within the console so uh, here we have the uh, the Davis tripod that we can that we can supply people. Um, this is the seven seven one six. Two versions of it. You've got the seven seven one six, which has the complete flat feet and no uh, mounting fixings other than a few screws. Or we have the seven seven one six A, which comes with these fifty centimeter lag bolts. So these are screw threaded, and basically one goes through each foot um, onto level ground, and then you can uh, put that straight into the ground into earth 
obviously you just need to be aware of making sure that there's no cables or pipes underneath before you um, cause yourself a bit of an incident. So just to point out that you can also, um, with, the, with the Vantage view, that we, it does have to be mounted on a pole. It only comes with a U-bolt pole mount. Yeah. Um, and that faces south always. And that faces south. To centre the little bubble. And then specifically when it comes to wind speed, and to rainfall, if you're not centered level or on a level, on a level ground, then that's gonna cause you problems with accuracy of data. Mm -hmm. If you wanna provide your own pole, that's absolutely fine. But what you need to remember is that the, um, the diameter of the, the, of the pole must be between 32 and 45 millimeters. We also do a uh, 7717 mounting pole kit. So that's approximately a, a one meter mounting pole that comes in two parts that you can bolt together. Um, it allows you to fit to a fence post or the side of a building or something like that. So this is the console that comes with the 6242 UK Vantage View. As you can see, it's a really nice little tablet um, setup um, and a really nice way that the, uh, the data is all being displayed. Um, everything on here is basically uh, self-customizable. Um, there's an awful lot more settings underneath it all um, because, as I said before, that we've got eight different channels to play with. So in theory, you could have eight different Vantage views connecting up to this. You could have a, a separate sensor suite or a, uh, an, another ISS, or you could have um, just some temperature, temperature humidity sensors, even leaf wetness sensors, that sort of thing. We also do signal boosters. Um, so if you do need that little extra range, we can, we can uh, arrange for those to be used. Um, and it's a really nice layout. So you've got your barometric pressure, you've then got your rainfall, uh, your temperature humidity, all your historic stuff, how much you've had for the day, your current wind speed, all that. And you can kind of change that uh, tiled layout however you want it. And then we can dig down into this and we can see all the historic data. Also, as I said before, that we can connect this to your Wi-Fi, create yourself a WeatherLink account. Creating a WeatherLink account is actually free of charge and it will take your live data up for free. Um, if you want historic data stored in the cloud, then that's also a possibility. And we can have a pro subscription. Uh, currently they retail at uh, £54 a year. Um, and that allows you to then have all your data stored in the cloud. So should you have an issue with your station or something like that, then, then all that historic data is being stored for you. You don't have to think about it. There is a small battery in there, but you know that's only there going to run you for, for a few hours and will go into sleep mode, etc. So best thing is to keep it plugged in into the mains. They're easily assemblable. 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 <laughs>